Hi guys, it's Sam here from Barn Hunting Blonde and today I'm here to talk to you about one of my favorite pairs, actually two pairs of designer shoes from Gucci. So here's one of the many boxes of the four boxes. So I kind of wanted to do a review of the shoes and I also wanted to uh, explain to you guys kind of why I went with certain sizes that I did just because I know it's really hard to figure out what size you need in these shoes and if you don't have a local store to be able to try them on, you're just kind of ordering and guessing. And I took two totally different sizes in the two different types of shoes. So first, I'm gonna start out with the Gucci Brixton, which is this loafer with the normal horse hardware that is very Gucci-esque and as you guys can see these are light pink and I keep them stuffed to try to keep their shape a little bit. They do fold down in the back which you guys can see along these little lines which the Princetown loafer not the mule but the loafer does not. Um, for me I actually never wear these folded down. I think it starts to mess up the leather as you guys can see the leather is already starting to wrinkle a little bit and that's just because it's a really soft beautiful leather and that's going to happen and you can also see that it has started to wrinkle on the front that happens as soon as you wear them what was weird to me about these shoes is that I needed a 39.5 I normally wear a women's nine and a half ten more on the ten side I have really long narrow feet and I normally in designer shoes need a 41 and a half. So that's like an 11 and a half. So like my Chanel ballet flats are a 41 and a half. My Chanel espadrilles are a 42 and a bunch of other brands. I'm normally at least a 41. So I was shocked when I tried these on and needed a 39.5. I was super lucky that where I went had a bunch of different sizes. So I actually tried on in these from a 41 down thinking I would need a 41 and they were huge like my feet would slip out of them. That actually happened all the way through the 40s and so I ended up with the 39 and a half. They were a little more snug when I initially tried them on but they are not snug anymore and they fit perfectly to my foot and I or feet I guess you know you have two. I uh, do have one bigger foot than the other and they're a little more snug on one foot than the other but that's normal for me for shoes. As you guys can see, I haven't gotten these resold yet because my cobbler told me to wear them a little bit because then when you resold them, it sticks a little better. So I was super lucky and ended up getting these for such a steal. I got them for $265 and that is not normal by any stretch of the imagination and I don't think that would ever happen again. I had placed a Stuart Weitzman order with Bloomingdale's and they had sent my boots, which were the last one in the company to another person who obviously didn't return them and they were trying to make me pay for them. And they were like, you know, like $800 and I had gotten her $20 fuzzy slippers that were never going to fit my feet. They're like a size seven. And I was livid. They like kept insisting that they were going to require me to pay for it because they'd been delivered. And I was like, yeah, they were delivered in New Jersey. I live in California. Like I can bring back to you guys the shoes you sent me. These are not my shoes. Uh, I do not want them. So I ended up getting a 70% off discount off of anything I wanted that Bloomingdale's had in their shoe department. So I got these babies. I also have these in black. The black do fit slightly bigger, but not enough that I'd want a different size. So I also have them in a 39.5. But I was like, okay, so a 39.5 seems to be what I need, but I want a pair of the mules. And I know the mules run really, really small. So I happened to be shopping on Fashion Files Outlet. And I came across these guys, which are the Princetown, you guys have got a little squished, the Princetown slide, and I also keep these stuffed. So not the loafer, obviously, they don't have a back at all. Uh, these, I was really excited to see because I think for the uh, Gucci Brixtons, I don't find the price as daunting um, because they are classic work shoes and I honestly plan on having them forever. I've been known to resole my shoes like 25 times until they literally die and I have to buy a new pair. So when I saw these and they were cheaper, they were about $400. It was definitely worth it to me. And they are a 10 and a half. So I was like, well, I haven't tried on the mules. Like, is this gonna be the right size? I don't know. So at the same time, I ordered from Nordstrom's the 41 because I knew I really wanted a pair. And if the ones from fashion, the Fashion File Outlet didn't fit the same as the ones from the Nordstrom's, I would just end up with the Nordstrom's one because Fashion File has a great return policy. But in all actuality, I needed the 40.5, even though they say they run small 
because these make my feet look huge. So I'm going to insert a picture somewhere on the screen of uh, me wearing the 40.5 on one foot and the 41 on another foot. They look like, they don't even look like a half size difference. They look literally like two, they look like three different size difference. The 41, um, let's see if I can line these up. The 41 actually is way, you can kind of see it, way longer than the 41.5. It also goes back farther on your foot. I don't know if that's because they're technically different models because this just came straight from Nordstrom's and this is from Fashion File Outlet, so I'm not sure how old this pair is. But these look ginormous on my foot. Like if I had seen these and only seen these, I would never ever buy a pair because they make my feet look like boats. And they're black, which I had a feeling the white might do, but I wasn't expecting it from the black. So when I got these and realized how well they fit, I was so happy. My foot is on the back of them, not hanging over because I can't stand that, but definitely to the back of the shoe, um, which after talking to some people, I tried these on at Nordstrom's. They said that that is normally what happens. Like people normally buy them with their feet on the very back and don't leave a lot of space because this part does eventually stretch to your foot. And so your foot moves farther forward and then you have even more room on the back. As you guys can see, these are brand new from Nordstrom's. Uh, tried on by me like twice to make sure this was the size I wanted. And these are gently used and regardless of gently used or not, they do start to crease in the front as soon as you wear them. I mean, literally I tried these on, maybe took two or three steps in them. Um, and you can see that they've definitely got a crease to them. I think that's just how they wear. That doesn't bother me, but if it does, these are probably not the shoe for you. What I did think was interesting was how I had to go up an entire size from the Brixton in the slide Princetown loafer. I don't know if the ones with the fur fit the same, but I have heard that occasionally when you buy these, but buy them in a different color, kind of like I did with my Brixton's, they do fit a little differently. Not enough that you would need a different size, but that they do feel different on your foot. I don't know, again, if that's true for these, but it definitely was for the Brixton. Also, I will have to say that when I picked these up from Nordstrom's, I was a little disappointed in what came with them. Uh, they had none of the stuffing in them. They were just literally in the box by themselves. I mean, they're $695. They should have some stuff in them, some stuffing at least. Um, I had to ask for the dust bags because they didn't have dust bags in them, and I definitely know they come with dust bags. And these came from Fashion File Outlet, which is their new website where they used to sell everything on eBay, but now have moved it over to their own website. They came with the stuffing, they came with the box, they came with the dust bags, and I was very impressed. The only real wear I saw to them was on the bottom, and the bottom actually has been resold, as you guys can see, which I plan on doing with all of them eventually, because they are leather bottoms, um, and that didn't bother me at all. And most of the wear now you're seeing on the bottom is actually from me, because I have worn these a couple days to work. So overall, if you're trying to decide between the Brixton and the Princetown Mule, not Loafer, I would say go with the Brixton. The Brixton is technically convertible if you're open to that. And it is definitely just more of a traditional shoe. Like I think this will be around for forever and I know Gucci loafers have been. I think this is a little more trendy. And so if you can find it, you know, at a discounted price, it's always a great way. I always try to link in my stories on Instagram when I see them discounted. Uh, you know, of course it's only a couple sizes or one size depending on where they're from. And so it's sometimes be hard, but I do think these are much more trendy. They are though much easier to get on because obviously you just slide them on. So I do like that, but I think if you're only gonna go with one pair and how the price between the two is really, really similar, I would go with the Brixton. And if you're brave enough and it doesn't bother your foot, you can totally fold these down. And then as I showed you guys, you have a pair of the mules with literally having one pair of shoes. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get an update every time I upload a new video. If you want to see how I style my goods like my Gucci loafers, please make sure to check out my Instagram and my Facebook, which I have linked down below in the description box. And lastly, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any suggestions for other videos. I'm always looking for new content or what to see what people want to see. So please just let me know. Thank you so much for joining in on this video. Have a great day. Bye guys.